to another video. Welcome back to my series of X-Men reviews. And I'm continuing on with X-Men First Class, starring James McAvoy, Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, Kevin Bacon, and Nicholas Holt. In the 1960s, superpower humans Charles and Eric work together to find others like them, but Eric betrays the team and becomes the villain of Magneto. And the X-Men go to try to stop his plans. I've never seen this movie before. I don't really... Uh... Want to because I loved the original X-Men movies, even the third one. And I didn't know what to expect with these new ones. Um... But it was interesting to see... A prequel movie to the original X-Men movies but apparently it is also a soft reboot of the original trilogy which is kind of weird which I don't which I don't really want because X-Men 1 kicked off the comic book movie genre alongside Sam, Ra Sam Raimi's first Spider-Man and the original Blade. X-Men 2 is one of the best comic book movies of all time. I mean, one of my favorite movies of all time. Just period. And. Also like. It's one of the better Marvel movies. That are not in the MCU. And. X3 is one of those. Uh, misunderstood and underrated comic book movies ever. And. I just really like that movie. And. I don't. Uh, like these characters are acting in a way in this movie that are kind of different than what they were but again they're younger so I can kind of give them a pass on that but Professor X is a guy who likes to hit on girls Magneto kills uh, kills people for no reason. Like, Mystique is Professor X's uh, best friend and has nothing to do with Magneto, really. And, like... And I really liked how you see them experimenting with their powers and how they deal with them. And it's crazy how this movie doesn't have its own Storm, Cyclops, Jean Grey, but has Magneto, Professor X, Beast, Mystique. I love the Hugh Jackman cameo. I thought that that was funny. I cracked myself up laughing when I saw that. I thought that that was really funny. And also... And... They used the last, uh, the last movie's idea, well, two, movie, two movies ago, really, of X-Men 3, really, uses the idea of the cure in the way that they will, uh, be mutant, in the way that they won't be mutant anymore, but this movie uses it in a way that they will still have their powers but they will be more human uh, than they already are. Which I found quite interesting, actually. I thought that that was an interesting twist on the cure from X-Men 3. The bit where Beast is fully transformed, kind of like a horror movie, really. It's like, oh my god, what the hell did he do? And... Like, but the scene after that, where Magneto is talking to Raven, uh, where it's like, we finally got the, got the start of the Mag Magneto and Raven relationship that we have seen in the original trilogy. And then when Raven goes to Magneto and at the end of the movie... It makes it a little more sense because her and Professor X have been best friends for pretty much their whole lives. And now she is on the opposite side of Professor X. I think that uh, 
I would have to give X Men First Class three and a half out of five stars because I think I think that it's uh, a like a better version of X Men three, but not by much because I really like X Men three, and I also staying to uh, drift dot drift off kind of at the end a bit and I think that that's one of those things where it's like what what happened here type thing where it's like you had me so interested for the first two acts and then the third act you kind of make me go like what? Um, but I also think that the battle at the end of X-Men 3 is more impactful than first class is because you actually have the whole thing of Wolverine going to Jean Grey and going like I love you and by Stabina. And I think that that's kind of more impactful than the X-Men First Class farm battle. So that's why I had to give it three and a half stars. So guys, please. I love doing my reviews and I haven't done them in a while. So guys, please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. Also hit the little bell. Kind of get enough for future videos I make. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. there, subscribe to my channel, and also press this bell icon.